finally some hope for relief from Poteet's long-standing water problems. The town is famous for its strawberries, but also has been known for its rust colored water. Yeah, that's what they don't want to be known for. As Jesse DeGriotta reports, even though the city says it's safe to use, a project is on the horizon to replace even more of its old water lines. Water may look fine coming from the faucet, but when you flush the toilet, it looks like you didn't. When a well pump failed a couple of weeks ago, even the mayor saw it. And then all of a sudden I'm filling up my uh, grandson's kiddie pool and it was brown. And Grandpa, what's wrong with the water, Grandpa? The mayor says Poteet's water hasn't been the problem. Mostly it's been old water lines filled with rust and sediment. Thankfully, there are businesses like this restaurant that have filtration systems. But its patrons say at home, the water quality varies. There are times that it's not bad, but like right now, it's not good. That's why this longtime resident says he can't believe how much he's paying for that water. Usually it runs between 98 to $102 a month. On average, we pay between $150 to $175 a month. The mayor says the prior administration raised water rates to meet increased costs, yet they're much higher than San Antonio's. How many millions of people do you have in San Antonio? Okay, compared to the 3,000 we only have here. At least now, he says, Poteet has a $4 million federal grant to put in new water lines starting later this year. The mayor says the town's main street will be spared, but other parts of town will be seeing a lot more construction when those old water lines are replaced. I'm not going to say that's going to resolve all the problems, okay, but hopefully it will resolve some of the problems. In Poteet, Jesse DeGollado, KSAT 12 News.